Sexy Tarot, Virgo. This will be an edition of Sexy Is Snitching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Virgo, as a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Virgo, as I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Virgo, as I'm progressing through the reading and you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and moon placements. There's a link to a prenatal chart on the about page of my YouTube channel. Donations are appreciated and kindly accept the via cash at dollar sign sexy tarot. All right, Virgo, I pray you all are well. Thank you for joining me. Virgo, this is your first bonus reading ever. My channel has been up and running for a little over two years, and I get bonus readings to the uh, Zodiac signs with the six highest views, and congratulations, this is your first bonus reading ever. Um, I used to roll dice to tell you what signs are um, in your energy, and I'm getting back to that. So let's see what signs are showing up in your energy. We have Libra, Pisces. Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. Again, now if this is not your person's sun sign, this is probably their Venus sign. You have Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Pisces. With that being said, let me get to snitching. On the crack. Ooh, okay, Virgo, there's some conflict here. There's some drama, some jealousy, some competition. Um, I see you at odds with someone. Your pre-shuffle was very heavy. Um, I see you um, planning to travel. You're planning to travel, um, but you got to wait for your ships to come in. Some of you traveling overseas. I don't know who that's for, but you expecting to travel, okay? And you have to make this decision, all right? But it's a little bit of weight involved, and it's due to some drama. One good shuffle for the verb. Or oh, that's your person. That's, that might be your person. Spirit, what does Virgo's person want to tell Virgo? What does Virgo's person want to tell Virgo spirit? Please and thank you. Virgo, how your person views you is judgment. How your person feels about you is the two of pentacles. What your person thinks of you, Virgo, is the nine of wands. How they, what's at the root of the matter for your person, Virgo, when it comes to you is the four of pentacles. The blockage, the obstacle, the challenge, and the way for your person, Virgo, is the Nine of Cups. And this is the potential outcome. Virgo, the reason you're joining this reading today is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords, you're stuck. You're afraid. You're fearful. Some of you are afraid of going to jail. Listen, I um picked this energy up in the pre-shuffle, by the way. Um... I don't know what's going on with you, but I pray you all are safe. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups. You have the Hangman. Some of you are done with the Pisces and the Six of Pentacles. So, Virgo, you feel like something isn't fair. You feel like you might not be, in, you might not be being treated fairly. But something's off balance here. And you're trying to gain a new perspective about something in the past, possibly with children. But you're trying to come up with an idea 
about the past or something in the past, possibly with children. The giving and receiving was off. Something's not balanced here or something's unfair. At least that's what you're telling me. The bottom of the deck, um, because you never had a bonus reading before, just so you know, the bottom of the deck, when I read from it, I'm reading for you. And when I pull here, this is your person, all right? So Virgo, how your person views you, how your person views you is judgment. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. So your person views you as being judged right now. This could be in a court system. Um, this could be a judgment call for your person. But your person views you as being judged. This They could view you as wanting to reconcile with them, Virgo. Spirit, why does Virgo's person... Oh, wrong deck. Hold up. I keep forgetting I got this deck over here. Spirit, why does Virgo's person view Virgo as judgment? Why does Virgo's person view Virgo as judgment? At the bottom of the deck, Virgo, you have challenges. You have intense and tested. Because I'm telling you, this is what I was getting. Right now, Virgo, your strengths are being tested. Your weaknesses are being tested. This is a very intense energy that's being bringing some obstacles, some challenges. There's some drama here. Um, and it's with the soul connection. Okay? And um, it's like a lot of highs and lows in this connection. You know what I mean? Virgo, your person views you as your soul being judged. They feel like um, they viewing you as preparing to reconnect, possibly a reconciliation. But they view you as... Um, it's a process, whatever this is. And again, this is this could be a, something in the judicial system. But your person views you as being judged, like your soul being judged. And it could be involved in a reconciliation, or this can be an actual judgment in the, ju in the judicial system. Spirit, wait, hold up. I'm tripping. Spirit, why does Virgo's person view Virgo's soul as being judged? Why does Virgo's person view Virgo's soul as being judged? At the bottom of the deck, you have ideation. You have space and illumination. Virgo, and you saying, look, it's clear to you. It's clear to you. You feel like if you put some space and distance between you and your person, this is the idea you have. It's like it, it, it comes, it came to you. Like maybe I should just travel away from this person or maybe I should just put some space between us. And this is the idea that's been illuminated to you or you illuminated to someone. Virgo, your person views your soul as being judged. Because of protection. Protection. They view you as trying to protect yourself from this judgment. Spirit. And again, that looks like lock and key. So, and I, I'm sorry be, to say this, but literally somebody might really be facing jail time. Because during the pre-shuffle, the imprisonment card show in this eight of swords. Spirit. Why does Virgo's person view... Virgo is Virgo's soul being judged and protection. They view you as trying to protect yourself. At the bottom of the deck, you have the cross. You have the fox and you have the sky. Ooh. It was something toxic here. Somebody made a, an abrupt decision. There was an abrupt decision made here that brought everything to a halt. It changed it. Every, it changed everything. And Virgo, I feel like it's a bird. And right now, you got to really strategize as to how to balance this out. I feel like you got to strategize and do what's best for you. 
based off of this abrupt decision that brought everything to a standstill. I feel like you feel there's a cross to bear. Something's heavy. It's a burden. Virgo, your person views you as being illuminated, knowing that you need to protect yourself because your soul is about to be judged. Um, usually, this is involving somebody's stability. Um, this can be a home, a marriage, a family dynamic. But your person views you as like, I'm reconciling, coming to some sort of um, realization, basically, that your soul is about to be judged and it's illuminated that you need to protect yourself. That's how they view you. As trying to protect yourself, knowing you need to protect yourself. Yes, the sun can be happy, but not in the context of what I'm getting here. And you might say, well, can they view me as wanting to reconcile with me? And yeah, but I it's certain cards that come up for that. It's too much going on here on this board. Spirit, Virgo's person view Virgo as um they view you as protecting like realizing you need to protect yourself they view you as your soul being judged tell me about this at the bottom of the deck you have past life relationship finances and career and let your friends help you so virgo for some of you your friends are helping you with money these are old friends um or some old money that was old to you that's what i'm getting i can't like sometimes i see maneuverability where i can i feel like your friends are offering you help or your friends are helping you and it's financial. This is some money that's owed to you. Or it's old money. Don't have to be money that's old to you. But maybe your friends, your older friends or friends have been around for a while. But Virgo, your person views you as... Um, being aware that you need to protect yourself in relation to this wedding, this wedding, this marriage, or the situation could involve some sort of commitment, some higher level commitment of some sort, or some contractual agreements. Spirit, why does Virgo's person view Virgo as wedding? Why does Virgo's person view, thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have unexpected income, bad health, and adjudication. See, this court shit keeps showing up. Virgo, I feel like I feel like you was you were expecting some money because your finance is not right. Some of you could be inheriting some money. But I feel like something transformed here. Something ended. Yeah. I feel like you're trying to heal somewhere or get somewhere. Long distance. I feel like there's money you didn't expect to spend or need. It could be for the courts. This could be inheritance or money you didn't plan to spend with the courts. Virgo, your person views you as when it comes to this house, making a decision regarding this house, a contract with this house. Why am I here putting up the house? Why am I here, Renee, putting up the house? 
That's not for all of you. There's a heavy court and financial overtone here. And your reading was like this yesterday. Let me get some tarot on this. Like somebody could be trying to say who stay in the house, who get the house. Or somebody might feel like they protected in the house. But the person view you as your soul being judged. Spirit, why does Virgo's person view Virgo's soul as being judged? It's like they view Virgo as being where they need to protect themselves. Can you tell me about this wedding and this decision? With this house. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Swords. You have the Empress. Some of you are dealing with a Libra or a Taurus and Judgment again. Some of you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. I feel like you're attracted to something. You find someone very attractive, inspiring, but you want to break from this or your money, your abundance is at a standstill. This is like a judgment call. I almost feel like karma. Yeah, like this could be involving a business contract with the lover. Some of you done with Gemini, but there's a choice that needs to be made. Yeah, this, this is like a judge. This could be a situation between lovers that's being judged. Yeah, somebody could have died. But there's an ending here. Something's ending. Yeah, and somebody need to save their money. And some boundaries are being set, or these are jail bars. Like somebody's temper just flew off the handle. Like somebody's temper. And the Knight of Wands could be a player thing, but with these cards, it's, it's too many wands and swords and shit. Virgo, your person views you as the Emperor. The Emperor, some of you are done with an Aries or a Taurus. You may have your own business, be a boss. Your person views you as trying to take control over the situation. And with this Eight of Wands, they view you as trying to um, take control by making quick moves, fast moves, when it comes to this two of wands, there's a heavy bird and an obstacle here, and they, your person views you as playing and trying to take control over the situation to make some quick moves. My water cooler just made a heavy gurgling sound, so this is emotional. This is very emotional because water is emotions. Spirit, what does Virgo's person want to tell Virgo as to how they view them? What does Virgo's person want to tell? I know I can't give you what you need and you are my destiny. This is what your person wants to tell you. And your person is saying, player, player from the Himalayas. Somebody was cheating here. Virgo, how your person feels about you, how your person feels about you is the two of pentacles, the two of pentacles. Your person feels like you're juggling finances or they could feel like we have, have a heavy decision to make, should I, shouldn't I? They could feel like you're very busy. busy. Your person feels like you're open to making a decision or you're open to juggling. But I feel like your person feels like you're doing some research to get some more information to figure something out. Your person feels like that there's a lot of pain here. Somebody could have got hurt. Your person feels like, you know, they don't know if they can trust this anymore due to some instability and some pain. When it comes to family, your, your person feels like, like you trying to be optimistic, positive about the family or closing something out, starting a new chapter. 
spirit. Why does Virgo's person feel like Virgo is doing some research? Because that's how I feel. Doing some research to make a decision. They feel like it's painful for Virgo. Like they don't know if they can trust Virgo. They feel like they're trying to be positive about the family. At the bottom of the deck, you have the star. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. This is like a long-distance travel card. The ju justice. See, this judicial system, justice and the judgment tells me that the judicial system might be involved. Some of you are dealing with a Libra and the magician. This is your energy, Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Gemini's energy. This is three major arcana, so there's some, a heavy transformation here. Then Virgo, what you tell telling me is you trying to make something happen. You trying to make something happen. You want to make something right, but it involves you being hopeful. You hoping it's work out in your favor. You want to. You might feel like you have to travel to get justice, but you want to make something happen. Yeah, it, I feel like you um. You sorry, you love this person, but you got to leave it. Something like that. You got to leave it. Virgo, your person feels like um, with this full energy, some of you are dealing with an Aries. Your person feels like you have to take a risk, but you don't know how it's going to play out. Your person feels like with this nine of swords energy that you're worried about this, that you're losing sleep. Like this is stressing you out. And it's stressing you out because there was there's an ending here with this king of swords energy. Again, this could be a judge, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. But your person feels like you, you know, you're worried about this decision you have to make to go off on some new beginning, but you're not sure where it's going to lead. And, and again, I'm sorry, but I keep getting this. Um, somebody is truly facing jail time here. Spirit, why does Virgo's person feels like Virgo is worried about some decision? They feel like um, you're, they're addicted to you sexually. Your person feels like, you know, they're healing. They're healing from something. I hope it's not a sexually transmitted disease. I don't know who that's for. But your person feels like they're healing and they're working on themselves right now. Virgo. Virgo, what your person thinks of you, what your person thinks of you is the nine of wands, the nine of wands. Your person thinks that you're afraid that you don't trust them. The person thinks that you're very guarded and you've been hurt. Your person thinks that, you know, like, oh, okay. So your person could think that they don't trust you. And they're trying to figure out find some good in this connection like your person is suspicious they hurt like this person is in pain they hear it all wrapped up and shit your person thinks that you gotta find the courage and the strength to leave behind your happiness Your person thinks that things change for you, that you're at a loss, and that you're trying to free yourself. So I, you, you understand why I feel like somebody might be facing jail time. I mean, y'all had a reading yesterday. It's like this, this energy was so heavy even during the pre-shuffle. Like, I feel like you guys are facing something very heavy. And no, not everybody is facing jail time. Some of y'all just stuck and need to get somewhere and the money not there or there's a connection falling apart and somebody fighting over the house. And, but there's, your person is like, look, I got to heal from this spirit. Or this could be you. It could be vice versa, okay? 
and and the reason i'm being very careful is this is a very heavy energy spirit virgo's person think virgo virgo is in pain they're like a little suspicious see yeah like see you look like somebody hurt At the bottom of the deck, hurt. Three of Swords, Page of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, and the Two of Swords. I feel like there was some mind games, some manipulation here, some petty communication, some arguments. Somebody was determined to win at all costs. And Virgo, I feel like you don't have enough information to make a decision. And that you real hurt. It could be over a third party. For some of y'all, a child got hurt. It was an argument. And so, again, these bars, like you might be blocked out from something or you could be being accused of something and you trying to state your defense. Virgo, your person thinks the five of pentacles your person is like look i gotta abandon this i gotta leave this like somebody could be crippled and they like they got a whole bag they got a whole bag like it's the best thing for them for their stability um they could think you saving your money and you don't have any money or people not giving you money. And with this Queen of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, it's like your person thinks like when they search their emotions and they listen to their intuition, everything is telling them like, no, hold back from this. Stay by yourself. It's, it's like some money here that's needed that's not available. And for some of you, somebody's in pain. And for some of you, it's about a house or traveling, needing money to travel. But somebody, you telling me, like, you stuck. Spirit, why does Virgo person think? The person is thinking that you should be expecting their call. There's a magnetic attraction here. But there was a third party. This is some messy shit because somebody was just playing around on this connection. Third party. Like... I feel like somebody's sexual desires put them in a whole bunch of shit. Whatever happened here was real passionate. Virgo, at the root of the matter for your person is this four of pentacles. They got to save their money or their whole in bed. From this commitment, this marriage... But some of you, they want to hold on to you. At the root of the matter for your person is they do want to change things, heal things, grow with you. And they feel like whoever this older woman is or this mature woman, they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. That's at the root of the matter. Like, your person is like, look, we need to talk about some stuff. Spirit, at the root of the matter for Virgo person is they do want to hold on to Virgo. They want to hold on to this commitment. They want to change things. They want success in this connection. But there needs to be a conversation. Why is this here at the root of the matter? At the bottom of the deck, you have the chariot. Some of you are done with the cancer. All these travel cards, the six of swords and the hangman. Some of you are done with the Pisces. Some of you dealing with cancer. And Virgo, you trying to hang in there. And you trying to find the best way to move on. Right? I don't think you want to go. But whatever this is, it's something rough here. 
I don't think you want to go. Yeah, I think you want to um make an offer to this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Like I, I feel like you're trying to figure out how to make this person an offer. At the root of the matter for your person, Virgo. It's the sun, the sun. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. And why am I hearing this? It can involve somebody's actual sun. I don't know why I just heard that. But at the root of your matter of the matter for your person in Virgo is they are aware of these mind games. They're aware of this jealousy, this pettiness, these art, this arguments. Like your person at the root of the matter, they like, look, it's secrets here. It's some jealousy here. It's some pettiness. Like something was revealed here. I feel like a tower moment. Like something was revealed here. So at the root of the matter for your person, it's like, yeah, I want this. I want to fix this and heal this, but we need to talk because too much done went on here. Spirit, what does Virgo's person want to tell Virgo about what's at the root of the matter? What does Virgo... I look at your pictures every day and money issues. Money is at the root of this, of this matter. Virgo, the block is the obstacle, the challenge in the way for your person is... It's like, they're not happy. The blockages, they're not really happy, like, to embrace this. They're not open to this no more. And the blockages, your person feels like, like, when it comes to working on this, they need to take a closer look because there's some things they're unaware of. Like, they feel like they don't know certain things about you. Like, you got some secrets. Your person, the blockages, like, is this, is this, are you really their true love? It's, is this really stable? Spirit, the blockage for Virgo's person is they don't know if they're really happy here. They feel like they need to take a closer look at what they don't know. And your person seems a little afraid of you, Virgo. Tell me about this for Virgo's person, please. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. You have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like there's a divine counterpart, but there's some truth and clarity that's, that's standing in between y'all. There's a decision to end this. So although y'all, the two of you are a divine counterpart, there was a decision for the two of you to separate. Yeah, and somebody could be traveling, moving, but it's being closed out, and there's a loss here. Virgo, the blockage for your person when it comes to you is this page of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I'm hearing, I'm sorry, it's just not enough. It could be involving some children. Um, it could be lies. And with the star card, is some of you dealing with an Aquarius, the blockages, somebody's healing. And they're only at the beginning of their healing. And with the three of one, all these travel cards. Like the blockage for your person is they don't know if this could be healed. It's too early. Like it's too early to make that decision. Spirit, what does Virgo's person want to tell Virgo about this blockage? Virgo's person is saying it's too early to make a decision about can this be fixed. Virgo's person is saying it's too early to make a decision. See, I'm full of pain. And right now they just need to, like they feel like you abandoned them, like they just need some space. Like, their intuition is telling them this. Something was triggered here. Cormac's soulmate. 
something was triggered here. You're the last person on my mind before I, before I fall asleep. Like somebody feel abandoned. Virgo, the potential outcome for you and your person is. I feel like with clarity in the four source, because somebody is truly he healing here. There was a lot of pain. I feel like that um the realization is being had that it's best for this just to, for right now to be on a break so someone can heal. I feel like, yeah, there's a separation from a wealthy man. Possibly a Scorpio with 13 being there. But there's a separation from a wealthy man or somebody's money has ended. And somebody don't want to work on healing this with the star card. Because something was revealed here. Something happened out the clear blue. Spirit, the potential outcome for Virgo and their person is, it seems like someone has clarity... Like, you know what, it's best if we stay on a break. I need to heal. Someone is separated from a wealthy man. If someone is rejecting working on this, tell me about it. At the bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. You have you, Virgo, and the three of swords. Someone is really heartbroken and disappointed. And you could be alone in the house. Um, but I see you doing some soul searching, Virgo. I feel like you're doing some soul searching. I also feel like you're afraid. And I feel like um, you hurt. You're hurt. Or you got to leave the house. Like this This is like a lawyer to me. For the, based off for this reading. The Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, energy. I feel like somebody's facing the truth. About working on this drama. This conflict. This fight. And what they facing is with this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. When it comes to nurturing this connection, it, it just can't be nurtured. Like, it's just stuck. It's just stuck. Or it's a mothering energy here that's saying, like, look, this is stuck. See, as soon as I said the mothering energy, the Empress there, that's like a Libra, a Libra Taurus or a mothering, nurturing energy about money is stuck like as far as coming together somebody is afraid of getting back with the other one like they said somebody's scared as shit that's what i got off of there the potential outcome virgo is the five of cups somebody regret their past actions somebody regret turning their back on a soulmate somebody could have been drinking or something but it's a loss here and it's a loss of a home a family and with this world card energy another travel card aquarius scorpio leo taurus energy somebody regrets that they have to leave a home leave a family like it's a loss here Spirit, what does Virgo's person want to tell Virgo about it being best that they stay separated right now? What is it? They remember you. You tell them to take this. I wasn't ready for you then, but I'm working on it now. So this person is like, look, they just need to work on themselves right now. They remember you and they do love you. They know who you are to them. And they feel like if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, and they never meant to hurt you. Somebody didn't want this to turn out this way. So, Virgo, let me get you some advice for this read. And I'm sorry to deliver such a heavy reading. Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo regarding their person? What Like, I feel like somebody, like, I can't lose my money. <laughs> like, whatever that means, whoever that's for. Like, I'm here, like, I can't lose my money. Spirit, what advice do you have for Virgo regarding this reading? What advice do you have for Virgo regarding their person, Spirit? What advice?
Spirit, what advice do we have for Virgo regarding their person? Virgo, Spirit is saying, put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So I'm hearing Spirit say, work on your self-esteem. And I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. So I feel like somebody... Okay, somebody works on the computer to date. I'm sorry. I, that came. That's how I feel. Um, Virgo, spirit is saying, like, I'm feeling like work on your self-esteem. Like, they want you to like you, if that makes sense. But I also see somebody working on the computer for dating. I don't know. I read for a lot of people. Maybe some of y'all got a damn OnlyFans page. Virgo Spirit is saying finances, finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. And Spirit is saying that with acceptance, like, um, Spirit is saying, like, you can't change this financial situation. And it's best to just accept it. And with the butterfly, um, this is like my Scorpio card. This is like transformation. Spirit is saying relationship evolving in the next phase, healing the inner child growth. So Spirit is saying someone needs to um, transform and change um, their finances. Like, But right now, the money just isn't here. Like, And it needs to be accepted. Virgo, Spirit is saying forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgive yourself or another. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. And when it comes to success, Virgo, know that there is no greater goal than to be, than to love. So when it comes to forgiveness in this love, Virgo, uh, not today. Not today. Somebody can't forgive this right now, okay, because they feel like something is old here, it's outdated, it's played out, and somebody feels very vulnerable, and they just don't trust the situation right now, Virgo, and Spirit is saying, you know, just accept this, accept this, and focus on yourself and forgiving yourself. Focus on yourself and forgiving yourself. Because I feel like um, something, I don't know, something, it feel like something got out of hand here. You know, and I just pray you all the best. I pray you healing. I pray you love. Um, and I pray you enlightenment, okay? And I pray you healing and inner and overstanding virgo 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 this has been your edition of sexy is snitching please like comment share and subscribe hit the notification bell virgo if you would like to be notified the next time i go live or upload a video peace virgo i hope it work out for you love Suckers are clueless. So better watch your mouth because she really do this. And no need to speak because she know what the news is.